now. Yeah. Like arms up and everything. <laughs> oh my God, it was, it was like the worst date ever. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I don't know about you, but I, I think this is a pretty good first date. Sort of thinking the same thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, I've been looking for a special guy for so long, but you're just pretty much perfect because you're just so average. Yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, like, you have no extraordinary qualities, and I love that. Like, none? No. no I mean, like, you're 5'10", 150-ish pounds, neither promising mm. nor disappointing. Like an office cubicle guy. I work at a tech startup. Shh, I... No, stop, don't ring this for me, okay? I mean, like even your name is middle of the road. Like Sean, really? Wait, so you like me because I'm average? Mm. It is so hot. I mean, come on, a picnic for a first date? <laughs> I mean, you are the most unremarkable man I have ever met. Now, uh, hold on. I do interesting things. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Like, uh, yoga. S sometimes. Like, every day or once a month? Like, every other month. Mm. I I'm busy. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I bet you have a gym membership you barely use, too. I have one. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love a man that keeps his body only moderately impressive. I I'm feeling kind of offended? Like average amount of offended? No, okay, I'm, I'm an individual, all right? Mm -hmm. With individual unique experiences. Dude, when this date started, I thought you were a seven, but I think you were like a perfect five. Mm. Okay. I mean, you are so vanilla. Oh God, I'm not gonna lie, it is turning me on so much. Wow. This is the worst date that I've ever been on. God, no. Oh, come on. No, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. It's just every guy I've ever dated has been so successful and so interesting. It's, it's like the entire relationship ends up being just about him. I want a guy that makes me feel important. You know, that makes me feel special. Can you make me feel special? So, me being average makes you want me. Why don't we go back to your place and I can prove it to you. I can drive. That's a cool keychain. Yeah, I got it when I was in Peru. <laughs> you went to Peru? Yeah, I mean, every summer I like to go somewhere new and I don't know, this year I'm thinking about going to Kenya maybe. No, oh, no, no, don't worry. It's not for fun, it's just, I, I, it's for work. I work for Doctors Without Borders. You what? Oh, not work, I volunteer. I, I make enough money as it is. So now you're rich? No, oh God, no, I, I just, I give away most of my money to charity. I, you're disgusting. What? I am done. What, no, I, I think it's better to be rich in spirit than in wealth! No. Now, come on! Hello? Yeah, um, I'm not gonna be able to volunteer in Africa this year. Yeah, sorry, it's having a negative impact on my sex life. Hey guys, I'm Julie, the associate producer from the scripted department. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and supporting all the rest of our content. Make sure to check out Robbie and Laura by clicking on their links below. And now I leave you with some of the bloopers from this episode. Yes, I do yoga sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's a cat in a tree. <laughs> I just fondled the entire basket. <laughs> I am done. What? Duh! Wait. No, I, I think it's better to be wealthy. And, no, rich and f***ing, okay. Yeah, it's having a negative impact on my sex life. I know, I know the orphans are gonna miss me. I'm gonna miss them too. I gotta get laid. <laughs>